Millions across the U.S. are traveling to cities and towns in the zone of totality to get the full experience of the solar eclipse. Here's ABC's Jacqueline Lee with the details. The countdown is on to Monday's total solar eclipse, and while excitement is building, the weather may not totally cooperate in some places. That path of totality will span the United States from Texas all the way to Maine, plunging areas along that path into darkness for about four minutes. In parts of Texas, the forecast is calling for clouds and some possible storms, which could make it difficult to see the eclipse, but the darkness of totality will still be an amazing sight for people there. But in cities in Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, along that path of totality, only a few clouds are expected, which means there's a good chance of seeing the eclipse. Further north, favorable viewing conditions are forecast in Niagara Falls, New York, and Holton, Maine. But the best weather for viewing the eclipse is predicted to be in Burlington, Vermont. Eclipse tourism has prompted a surge in hotel bookings and vacation rentals. Airbnb reporting a 1,000% increase in searches for stays along the solar eclipse path of totality. Indianapolis Airbnbs going for as much as $4,000 a night, according to the company. Less than two hours north of San Antonio in Llano, Texas, the mayor saying their small community of about 3,200 people is expecting as many as 50 to 60,000 visitors to descend on the small town. We have been trying to make sure our, our residents understand that this is going to be something like they've never seen before. Meanwhile, many kids are getting excited about Monday's solar spectacle. Some schools closing for the day or dismissing students early. And many school districts are handing out solar glasses to help keep kids safe as they watch the eclipse. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, Los Angeles.